scripture, Psalm 46, 10, we all know, be still and know that I'm God. And the word still there is, one, one of the meanings is the word rapha. And it means to slacken, to cease, to weaken. One of the, one of the other things is to show oneself slack. Isn't that amazing? And then the word no is yada, to be made known. So when we slacken, God is made known. So this is what slackening looks like. This is what life looks like, right? I'm pretty happy that I match all this stuff with this yellow band. So um, we're going to church, going to worship Jesus. Everybody ready? And your kids can't find their shoes. And the dog just peed on the floor. And you can't find the keys. And you get in a fight with your husband. And you're in the car, and you pull up to church, and you're like this. And you're walking around, and everyone's going, how are you this morning? God is good. (laughs) How much? All the time. (laughs) He's so faithful. And then you get in your car after church, and you snap. Be still is an action. Be still and he'll be known. So it's an action. It's not, a, it's not just, right? To be still is to meditate on the goodness of God. Not just say it out loud a hundred times like we cope, right? God is good, God is good, God is good, God is good, God is good. You know, when we say that in anxiety, it's kind of hard to embrace the truth. So this is what I'm practicing. God is good. It's going to be okay. I practiced the action. We got in the car the other day. We were all super anxious. And Haven, my beautiful 12-year-old, because when you practice things as a family, your children use them against you. And she said, everything feels a little stressed out. Um, I think it'd be really great if we just took a deep breath. (laughs) And Jonathan put his hand on my hand. And that's the like, just do it. (laughs) And I'm like, that is such a good idea, Haven. Let's all take a deep breath. And you know what the Holy Spirit said? I'm like this. I don't even have enough arms for how stretched out I was. He's like, yeah, you're going to need to slacken. I'm like, I'm trying. I had another moment about a year ago. I feel like I'm doing stand-up comedy right now. Like, woo! I had... I had, an, I had a moment, this is my favorite slackening moment, because this is what I'm practicing. Because you know what? You have to practice. And I'm sick of people wanting to be in encounter moments and be changed forever when the Father's giving you permission to practice your salvation. That's why it's new every morning. So we're at the airport, we're flying to uh, England. Flying's very hard for me with the disease I have, and we're doing this big church day out event, 20,000 people, no big deal, and we're going to fly in a day early so I have time to rest, and we, my beautiful husband, had made a great plan, because he's awesome, and I'm pumped. We're going to England, big church day out. It's going to be so fun. I'm standing at the ticket counter, ready to check my bags, and I am loose, <laughs> and the agent goes, oh, your flight got canceled. I'm like, oh, (sighs) slack in, Melissa. Oh, that's okay. There's probably another flight. It's like 7 o'clock at night. He's like, yeah, let me check. And I'm like, 
yeah, there doesn't seem to be any more flights. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking like there's, I'm like, <laughs> Orlando, Atlanta, New York, Boston. Yeah, there is nothing going out tonight. Inner narrative, that's impossible. The Lord knows that I can't fly in and lead on the same day. He would never do this to me. Can you check again? <laughs> Meanwhile, the people next to us have a really um, intentional, fast agent that's checking very fast, and I can hear her little tick, 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 tick. <laughs> And as she's tick, 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 I'm just getting, woo! I'm like, what's she doing over there? Did you find something? Did you find something? Oh, I just gave away the last two seats on the flight to England tonight. And I'm like, you weren't fast enough. <laughs> Jonathan's like, it's no big deal, babe. And I'm like, yeah, totally. <laughs> slack in. And I mean, by this time, internally, I'm like, slack it, slack it, <laughs> slack it, slack it. You will slacken in the presence of Jesus. I'm like, <sighs> John's like, we got, and she goes, well, your only option is just to go home an hour and a half drive and come back tomorrow night. Great. Thank you for your help. I get in the car and I am like, And at this point, Jonathan says, nothing. Why? Because there's nothing to say. <laughs> and in that moment, what I wanted to do was do this. I wanted to get on Instagram. <laughs> and then when I got home, I wanted to get on Netflix. And what I really wanted was to stop at Chick-fil-A and get a chicken sandwich. <laughs> coping, 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 coping. Instead, I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I'm shaking. And I'm like, why would God do this to me? That's what came out. When I got really honest, why would he do this? He knows that I cannot fly through the night, arrive in England, drive to the countryside, and go on stage immediately with 20,000 people. Jonathan says, nothing. I'm like, he knows my limitations. What is happening? And in that moment, the Holy Spirit, I was so beautiful. He said, Mel. And in that moment, I literally, tears just started streaming on my face. And I started crying. And everything started coming in. Because there's no formula. And there's no magic prayer. It's your friendship with Jesus. And every moment that you reach tension, what's going to release it? is learning how to slacken. 